Hello Fifi's and Collectors, this is me Daniel East 1000 back again with a sort of review with an added bit of an unboxing. Uh, I got this through the mail as you can see by the happy or depend on how you look at it and what Amazon packer packed it. And you're probably wondering well what is this Mr 1000 and I will say it is an exact start that again. It is an Amazon exclusive. Uh, one of two. This one is the, I'll spoil it for you, because the title already will have, Han Solo in Carbonite, which, along with that, and Fall on and Zuckus, have been a absolute pain in the arse to get your hands on if you're in the UK, and I'm sure many other countries would testify to that. Not only has ordering them been a pain, because it seems like Amazon has been putting the pre-order up at random times, it's just been absolutely ridiculous. Almost like you've had to have a crystal ball to predict when you can actually, you know, all of these, because they keep listing them, then delisting them, saying they're available, saying they're unavailable. Ah, it's, it's been a headache, but I managed to get my hands on one. And to be fair to Amazon, it did come sooner than they said. So, once you've got through the process of actually getting one ordered, there's the potential nightmare as to what you're going to receive. Mint on card collectors would certainly want to look away at this point. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know how they managed this or what they were thinking in terms of the packaging they were using previously. Fingers crossed, looking at this, this looks relatively sturdy. Hopefully, mine's going to be in good condition. It doesn't really matter too much to me because I'm an uncarded collector, but that's that's been the saga with these figgies. I'm not sure if I ever do get Fall of and Zuckus, what kind of condition they'll come in. Hopefully, carded, because I would like them carded. But for this one, this is one that I'd want uncarded to display with Boba Fett. This was originally available with the San Diego Comic Con Boba Fett Black Series figure. That was, if I'm not mistaken, the first exclusive or San Diego Comic Con exclusive they did for Black Series. So it's been a long wait to actually get this at mass retail. And it's nice that Hasbro's done that. A little bit cheeky at the same time. But for the price point, I don't like it. I don't entirely agree with it but I'll accept it. £16 is somewhat fair enough. It's a little bit cheaper than your standard Black Series figure. Although I know some of our sellers outside of Amazon managed to get their hands on them sooner and retailed them for a lot higher, which I don't really agree with. But if people want them for that price, they can get them for that price. Anyways, here we go. So here is my live reaction to opening this package up. And let's see what state mine came in. Drum roll, please. Okay, that's that's not too bad. It's a little bit bent in the corner. But I mean, if I was a cardi collector, I'd be like, that's fine. I mean, other people might not agree with me, but there is a bit of crumpling in the corner there. But that's, that's okay. That's not bad. But uh, here we go. This is the... Uh, obviously in vintage styling, here to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back with the sticker at the top there. Han Solo and Carbonite on that very nice vintage card. What a lot of people will probably gripe about though is the fact that it's celebrating the Empire Strikes Back and of course it's on an Empire Strikes Back card. But why have they taken a still from Return of the Jedi and use that? I don't know, maybe it's just because that's the clearest and probably best picture of Hanning Carbonite you can maybe get. But it's a little bit odd having that opposed to having a still or picture from the film that it, you know, is actually meant to be represented from. Even though it's pretty much the same prop, and it is a prop. But here's the card for you, it's on the card back, figures in the bubble there. In terms of the differences between this and the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, there's literally only the paint apps as far as I'm aware. It comes with pretty much the same, you know, stands and things, obviously without the Boba Fett as well. But that looks rather swish on that card back, I must admit. It does look nice. You always pull at me Hasbro when you put stuff on the vintage card. And on the back, you've got a rundown of other figures you can get as well as a bit of a bio on the vintage collection six inch line and a ton of legal garb of which we are all pretty much used to now I'm sure so yes 
It's no use keeping this fella sealed up in the packaging. Let's let him breathe, shall we? Carded collectors, you might want to look away now. And here we have the figure itself out of the packaging and in hand so I can give you a better look at it. So first and foremost there's some really cool sculpting and detailing on this. Like I said some of the paint variations will differ from the San Diego Comic Con version of it. But they're very very minor. Um, it's just a solid, solid block piece. Just to give you a close up of this guy, you can see a fair amount of dry brushing on there. Some really awesome paint apps. Green on the control console. Just very, very sweet looking. And looks relatively movie accurate. If you turn it on the back, you've got two peg holes. These are for the display stand you do get here. To assemble it, if we just uh, take these two pieces here, you just snap them together or clip them together, not to insinuate that I'm breaking it. You can use that, there's like two little peg holes there. So you can tab those in there like so. And then there's that little peg there which slots into that hole on the back. So you can have it stood up like that, just because it is, you know, not a flat angle, so that won't sit up very well, but this helps aid it. Or alternatively, if you wanted it in the hovering pose, you can take this, <laughs> if you can take this out like so, and you get this piece, which will act as the base. Um, you reform them as to how they were. They don't, you know, stay together well at all. But um, yeah, if you just slot this piece into there, like that, you've then got a cradle. Depending whichever way you wanted to put it on, you can have it that side or that side that works exactly the same way really so you can have it hovering which would look great if you had a couple of stormtroopers and Boba Fett there escorting it that would be pretty damn sweet um, so yeah that's really it in terms of accessories it just comes with that although I wouldn't really call it an accessory it's more of an aid it more than anything in terms of displaying it so if you didn't have that it would just pretty much plonk on the floor unless you had blue tack to stick it against your wall so it is nice that they did include that but that's pretty much it in terms of accessories and obviously because it is a solid chunky chunk piece of plastic there's no articulation with it it is what it is really there's nothing too much going on with it but it is something that we have been wanting for those of us who weren't lucky enough to get the San Diego Comic Con edition of Boba Fett way back when. So it's been a long time coming to get this um, at an affordable price for sure and I for one am pretty pleased I've finally got it. So that is Han Solo in Carbonite. Have you managed to get this guy? What condition did you get yours in if you did? Let me know in the comments below, and this is me, Daniel East 1000, signing out, and thank you very much for watching.